Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make digital menu and how to uh, set up items category and how to finally explore uh, how to create the, the beautiful menu from those items. This menu can be used for restaurants, stores, uh, any gas station, or any store, I mean. As the name suggests, like this is the digital menu, this is the dynamic menu, and this is the user based menu. So each user have their own set of items and categories, and uh, they can change their item name, price, and whatever they like with the uh, within the, within no time, and they can just display those items in the desired desire uh, display and there can be multiple display uh, and they can have how many display they want you know uh, it doesn't matter like they just can uh, set up the design and then send it to the any monitors or any screen now let's go first add uh, we need to register and this website like uh, it's very simple, just provide username and password like this. Then it will uh, send us to the S inside, and we can set up the categories. The categories is the collection of items like similar items let's say like we can have categories like uh, breakfast menu dinner menu uh, lunch menu uh, like if it is a, a liquor store they can have menu like vodka menus uh, mm. uh, like they can have raw menus and that way it's a broad category so for the collection of items so First, we need to create the category like this. Like, uh, and then, like, it's a rank. Rank is uh, nothing more than for the, like, it's only for the sorting purpose. I'm uh, putting it here. Like, we can do it like this, and then. special text we can put it there like this way we can set the number of categories and after that we should go for the item setup uh, it's very simple here we have item create item button just click here and then we can create like item one it is description short description like And then item name. That means item one. Special text, whatever it has. Then it's price. Uh, it's uh, it's price too. Like this is for the future enhancement purpose. I'm putting it like it. Price goes down or up or up. Uh, it goes up, we can put it in the middle, like, this item goes uh, down from this price to this price, like, we can put 22, then it's rank, let's say this, this is the item's rank, not the category's rank, then we can choose some uh, images for that thing, like, this is not a worker around, still, let's say this is the image I'm choosing for that thing, then we have to select the categories, it's mandatory, uh, let's say it's a worker, I mean, work item, the, and this way we can <coughs> create the items, we can get uh, more items from here, and we can edit the items, like, if, in the future, uh, if you want to change the 
item name so i don't want to add one uh, like this one it will make it sense description like this way it's very simple just do that for seven time purpose i have already created lots of lots of items and categories for the other user and let's go there just login for the other user user one see like i have set up the categories for the restaurant like breakfast menu lunch menu and dinner menu within that like let's say there are the lots of items i have set up and for the breakfast menu i have almost eight items for the lunch menu i have six items and then for the dinner menu i have two items I guess yeah now final step is like uh, getting the menu that's from here this menu setup uh, right now we have two two different type of menus which can be created let's say for the grid menu there's a this these are the options see it's number of items in a row how many items you want to put in a row and then uh, which categories menu you want to make like for breakfast or lunch or for dinner and this template you want to use this is the generate button uh, by clicking which we will generate the items after some time say let's say uh, i want to have two items in a row i want to create the breakfast menu and i want to use the template one and if i do generate it will make the breakfast menu and new tab see this is the this is the thing like if i want to put three items in a row i just need to do like three and then generate so this will be like put the three items in a row this is very simple and like if wanna i want to do uh, make a mouse menu just do a mouse menu it's very simple I, and then like if if uh, you got the item price being changed then just go to them and like say let's say the breakfast menu is this big big omelet has changed its price from 12 to 13 22 to like say 15 20 59 uh, then it should you know it should be send this menu to like by just using the reload you can see the same price no need of like doing anything just go in there and send the items the property that can be shown in the, this within a second this will be displayed in this thing then like let's say we have a three different monitor or display then just dragging this in the, that first monitor and then doing f11 in full mode then it will it, uh, it can be shown in that monitor like say here's a some margin you just need to do control and then uh, plus you can make it like you know different size you can change the size too uh, like this will work like for the biggest screen you can make some adjustment by doing this control and then plus that is just the zoom and then like this one is for monitor one let's say for this is for monitor two we just put uh, this in another screen uh, that's the other way in this way like we can create this grid menu style we can change item name item description uh, item price within a second and <laughs> we can send we can see those changes on our display too that's very simple and uh, we have another design for the menu also this one is for the menu uh, let's say like I want three columns in that design and I want to use this particular template one let's let's do send it then it will create this type of design very simple one it will show all the items in that menu say breakfast menu we have this much of items and lunch menu this much of items and in the dinner menu this much of items like if you want to choose like I just want one item one column in my like my menu this is the menu breakfast
was made of the other things. And in this design, we have a sliding sliding effect. First, it will show one menu, then another menu, and then another menu, and it will roll back to the first menu. Then, in that way, like <coughs> menu can be changed dynamically. Yeah, also, if you want to change the item price, just go to the item and change the price, and it will be shown in this this menu, and this can be shown in another another monitor or another screen. That's very simple, I guess. Just do F11, and like here we can change the menu style. If it's a particle monitor, then we can do like this way. In this way, we can create menus. This is the part I, I have. I have in this system right now. We can improve like this system in many ways. Like we can add some more templates, and also we can have some type of you know, active or deactive item so that only item active item can be shown in the menu. Or, uh, we don't want, if we don't want to show some item is not in a menu. We just can deactivate that menu, and that item won't be shown in that menu. Right? That's the way. And another improvement we can do is like we can make a menus that can be scheduled. So like if I want to show one menu on Sunday and second menu on Monday, we, we can put that type of thing in this this digital menu system. That's all about this. I, I think you, I hope you like this. Thank you.